Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning November 23rd, 2020. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys are making the most of it, whatever the circumstances may be for you, okay? Before we get into it here, if you decide that you like this video, please give me a subscribe, a like, a share. That helps out a ton. And also if you would like to have a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I, of course, is at Gumroad. And of course, if you would like to support me on Patreon, all of that information is always down below. So let's get into it here for this week. We are going to, I am feeling this uh, sense of restriction. We're seeing egos cracking. I know I've been dealing with this for the past few weeks. And for a lot of you out there who are very, very sensitive and, you know, when people are empathic, typically you do have, um, you know, you have some moments in your past that have really maybe not been so pleasant. It's really taught you something. And sometimes that can leave you vulnerable to people to come, for people to come in and feed off of you. Yes, uh, taking advantage of you. If it's a business taking advantage of you, you have the capability to breathe into your energy centers. You knew we were going to talk about this, right? <laughs> to be breathing and meditating, right? So especially around the solar plexus and all of your lower chakras. Okay. So this will help you feel a little safer. This will help you get some clarity. Of course, you can, you know, exercise all of your chakras, but, uh, and, and breathe through them and open them and, and get them to the right space and charge it up to the right capacity, basically, but take your power back. And that's really what this is. And when we say restrictions, make sure you're picking and choosing um, what really is affecting you, not what you perceive as affecting you. Does that make sense? So we don't want to engage in every battle kind of thing. What is happening this week is temporary. It's not going to last forever. Okay. So just be mindful of that this week. So pick your battles, you know, kind of thing. Be breathing, be meditating, especially I keep coming back to the solar plexus, uh, the sacral chakra and the root chakra. Make sure you are breathing into those areas so that you have a sense of safety in this world and especially, as I said, as egos are cracking and they start to, I don't know, maybe kind of come after <laughs> people who they see as vulnerable or weak or what have you, now you have uh, your clarity and that can in some way be your defense. So there's that portion of it. And this is really about looking at your own life taking care of yourself guys and and taking care of yourself doesn't just mean oh I make sure I eat right and exercise and all of that that's all well and good but how are you emotionally it's been a rough time okay it's been a rough time and 2021 is going to be a huge year of implementing change okay and as we I'm going to be doing the 2021 videos I swear I am I'm recording right after this okay <laughs> I know it's been one thing after another that's come up but I'm definitely going to be getting those out so what this is doing here as we wind down towards the end of the year, this is showing you what still needs to change. Uh, for a lot of you watching this, where do you need, and some of you don't like that I'm about to say this because uh, like I said, I have people who track as well, but uh, there's going to be a testing of boundaries, people trying to cross those boundaries or some awareness of where your boundaries have been crossed or where people take advantage of your kindness, or you might become aware of how one-sided your friendships are. Um, I know I'm working on this right now, but really it's any kind of area in your life that needs to change. I've been having people come and try to take advantage of certain things and I have had to stand strong and set a boundary and it wasn't easy. I started to get a little scared. I'm like, how bad is this going to get? Because this person doesn't seem rational. You know, I don't know what to do here. Breathe into the solar plexus. Of course, you can work with the archangels. Archangel Michael for protection. Archangel Metatron for the intuition. Yes. Archangel Uriel for strength and power and understanding coming from your wisdom. And realizing that's an illusion. These people having power over me, these people are trying to intimidate me. It's all an illusion. They have no power over me, right? And so then you can have uh, this reclaiming 
of yourself and who you authentically are. You know, we talk about that all the time. So as I was saying, you know, there are a lot of these lessons that are coming up maybe this week, okay, because it's going to be here in the U.S. is going to be a very strange uh, Thanksgiving, most certainly. Uh, what can you do to make the most of it instead of um, sort of screaming out against, you know, because it's, it's different than how you're used to. Instead of fighting about that, can you embrace what you're being asked to do? And that is, can you take a different perspective of your life? Can you take a different perspective of how you relate to others? What needs to change? Yes. So again, <laughs> like I said, it's pick your battle here. There's a bigger thing here of learning how to protect yourself on a soul level and less about the surface level stuff that, as I said, is going to be temporary. Watch for March 21st, 2021. Again, I'll put this in the videos. I, I always felt that there was something happening the first three months of 2021 and then the energy shifts. And then I'm, as we're getting towards the end of this year, it's getting more and more specific, which is highly unusual for my esoteric art and the way that I approach this. Everybody has their tool, right? It, whether they're an astrologer, a tarot reader, you know, what have you, but I take a very different approach. And we're usually in that uh, time is not linear, uh, you know, energies affect everything, we're magnetic beings, and so we are creating the existence that ends up showing up, and that's all still true, but there's something about March 21st, 2021, March 21st, 2021, there's like a fall off, something falls off. So there are two strains here, I was kind of weird to talk about this in a weekly, but you know, I'll talk about this in the 2021 videos as well, but there's like two paths where some may choose to sort of fade into the future and sort of integrate and dissipate the old way and come on into a new way. And then for others that refuse to accept any bit of change, there's a steep fall off, which could be havoc. Okay. So I guess we'll watch around that time. Again, stuff can change. <laughs> you know, nothing is ever set in stone, right? So let's get back to this week. What are we doing? We're doing self-examination. Um, you know, how well can you handle what's coming at you? Can you stand strong when other people are trying to take your power away? Again, this is all stuff I'm working on too, guys. And it's not easy. It's not easy. And I'm definitely making sure that I'm being thorough about facing whatever it is that keeps holding me back or what my fears are or um, when people are trying to take advantage, you know, realizing, hey, I don't have to respond to everything. And yeah, these people might short circuit and go on their smear campaign. Let them. Let them. They only expose themselves. And that's all there is to it. And they don't get to have any of my energy. So I want to offer that, you know, and, and for some of you out there, there could be this feeling of there's an internal fight and it is that, that change that's trying to happen, but you have some resistance to it. Hey, who doesn't, right? I mean, <laughs> I, think, I think you wouldn't be human if it wasn't, you know, some bit of like, I don't know about this, right? Um, and then there are other people who are going through that. And so we're going to have a lot of people just sort of colliding and not knowing what to do with one another. Okay. Now we can get around that. It's all the stuff I already said. Okay. So make sure we're getting ready. We're getting prepared. The message is resiliency. And that has been kind of a word that's been floating around. I know in my head for a while now, it's like resiliency. And I was just telling somebody else that, uh, you know, when everything started to happen in the beginning of this year, there was this like, whoa, whoa, can't believe it. Can't believe it. Um, oh my gosh, you know, how are we going to get through this? And then as things started to happen again <laughs> in the past couple of weeks, I noticed at least for me, and I would invite you to look at how your reaction was, I reacted very differently. I was just very matter of fact and like, okay, this is happening. I now know what to do. I now know how to take care of myself. I know that your emotions and breathing and, you know, not allowing yourselves to panic or let yourself panic, you know, to get yourself in that calm centered space that's not sidestepping okay that's self-care now you can get yourself into alignment and then get another piece of news and then you're like okay 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 but it's the bounce back how how quickly can you you know take something in process it and get yourself back into a nice calm focused space where you can take any necessary action okay does that make sense 
So we're learning this about ourselves. So there might be something coming up for us this week that I don't want to use the word test. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to use that word, but you know, it, it can, you know, there could be things that come up that show you how far you've come and do not do this thing. Don't do a disservice for yourself in trying to go back to the old way when this is coming up in your face and you just want to go scrambling back to what used to be. It's not there anymore, guys. It doesn't exist. There's so many changes on the horizon and it just depends on how well you're willing to roll with it. Okay. I hope that makes sense. So let's get onto the cards. Okay. Let's see what we have going on for this week. There's a clashing kind of energy here, but this feels like it's on the individual level. As I said, it's like uh, for the individual kind of clashing with yourself, um, but clashing with the change that needs to happen, maybe clashing with others. It doesn't mean that just because families might be getting together or whatever safe for you where you live, that families are going to fight. It could just be a clashing of ideas, a clashing of approaches. Um, and it, what it is, is everybody is lost and trying to find their way. That's really what it comes down to. And we're just going to have to roll with it. Can't just have sunshine and rainbows all the time. We didn't sign up for that. <laughs> okay. So we first have prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. This is something that's going to be happening in 2021 where they're like all the old structures are starting to crumble. I know I picked up on it. I know a lot of readers are out there picking up on um, financial institutions changing or like our money system in general just kind of changing so there will be a release there will be something there and prosperity lies ahead now this prosperity can be feeling peaceful as well it can be money but it could be opportunity it can feel safe you know it could feel like um loose ends getting kind of tied up and completed okay right? so don't be worried Okay, prosperity is ahead. But again, it, oh, speaking of which, I have my citrine ring on too. <laughs> so that's all about prosperity as well. So just bear that in mind. Again, some of you needed to hear that. Maybe you're searching for a job or you're scared or what have you. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. As we go through these changes, again, people are going to want to fight one another because we're uncomfortable. All of our pain bodies are cracking open right now. As painful as it could be to deal with certain personality types, if we could bring love into the situation, that doesn't mean, remember, strength and love, that can go hand in hand. I was, you know, telling that I had a situation in the past couple of weeks where I really had to stand strong. I was trying to bring love into the situation and the people I was in this disagreement with, they were not having the love thing. <laughs> Anything kind of calm and peaceful or even trying to like joke around a little bit and lighten the situation was not working. It was not, they, they actually, I think, saw that as a weakness. But what we're getting at here is, you know, you don't have to, I mean, when you bring love into a situation, it could just be from your internal space, your heart to theirs. It may be rejected. It may be rejected. And you know what? That can't be ours. Give it back. Give it back to whoever is trying to put that into you. Yes, that love or bringing love into a situation is a weakness. You can still approach your life like that. But maybe for some of you, I don't know, it's kind of a weird message, but I feel like it's not very outward. <laughs> um, again, maybe you're having a conflict situation where that's going to be perceived in a certain way and maybe stomped on. But you can always bring the love to yourself as well, especially if you feel like there's an injustice or, you know, someone's just not being very fair. Okay. Or, you know, families too and friends and what have you. If there's any arguments, try to bring love into that situation at least. Okay. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. I'm telling you, things are moving and shaking and changing and you can't go back to the old way. This is an adjustment of our perspective. It's how we approach things. We are being asked to try a different way. And that is what 2021 is all about, guys. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. <laughs> all right, bring love into the situation. Let's go back to that message and try to bring it into whatever, whatever this is all about. Because again, 
as I said, everybody's uh, egos are cracking open. And this could be something out in the world that we see that starts to get a little heated. But uh, for the most part, not across the board, but for the most part, on an individual level, this is something that can be good because a release comes from this. So if it's finally having a discussion with somebody that has been long overdue, you know, try not to let it be an argument, okay? Stand strong, stand strong. My table's really far away, so I'm just gonna stick this in my chair. <laughs> I got the other deck over here. Um, it's just the way I set up my lighting, I don't know. But um, once that climax kind of comes, all the information comes out, we see things for what they are, you see who you're really dealing with, and then you can take actions to uh, get yourself out of that situation and not let people take your energy. Don't be afraid to do meditations where you reclaim your energy that other people have taken, cleansed and blessed as it comes back to you. Anything anybody's put into you, take it on out, cleanse and bless it and send it back and then shield and protect yourselves. And as I say that, that's not so that you become disempowered, but you know, we are energetic beings and that energy, we all know when we walk into a room, you can feel it, okay? That's how you're working with it. So don't manipulate it and don't respond to people's manipulation either. Because that's another, we have two cards. Because that's another uh, trick of some of these people. They want to manipulate everybody and make you feel bad, diminish you, that sort of thing. So we have gold, attract abundance. The number is 21. 2021, March 21st. I don't know. Something has a, a like a sharp drop. So I don't know what that will look like. As I shared with you guys in another, um, I think it was another weekly or something like that. When I was doing the 2020 videos, I was seeing people face down who couldn't breathe. I had no point of reference for that <laughs> whatsoever. And I didn't get it and I didn't want to scare people. So I was like, I don't, maybe I'm, I don't know. Is that floods? Is that a war zone? Like, what is that? You know, what am I looking at? And then as things would come to pass, I don't know. So this might be something that we have no context for, okay? But it does say we, this, this is not a guarantee that abundance and prosperity is just coming at you. But rather, you can start tapping into your own power. Not to manipulate. It's not to manipulate, okay? <laughs> but rather tapping into your power to attract in what can keep you safe and steady and stable, okay? And then we have Aqua, Experience, Peace and Calm. The number is 33. This is all about being in your wisdom and taking a different approach. So we don't want to go from a fearful place of I'm going to manifest because I'm scared and I want to make sure this, this, and this happens, but rather come from a place of peace, calm, going with the flow. And when you're in your whole body, your whole energy, that's where you can manifest from. And again, it's not manipulative. I was just, you know, trying to throw my makeup on. I was looking for something and I got, I know this sounds silly, but it can be as minor as this. I just kind of calmed down and I, <laughs> I swear to God, I did this. I kind of just settled into my body and I thought about what it was that I was looking for. And then I just stayed there a second. And then I went right over, opened a drawer and there it was. I do this all the time. I do this all the time. Okay. So Test it out for yourself. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. Test it out for yourself. But it's always from that peaceful, calm place where we can get stuff done, okay? Or it could be calm and peaceful, but very matter of fact. And that can help you get some progress as well. All right? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.